Welcome to Tech News Briefing. It's Tuesday, August 15th. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Cell phones have been around for decades, and yet many 911 call centers haven't adapted for them. Instead, emergency operators are dealing with infrastructure that was set up when cities were dotted with payphones and every house had a landline. So why hasn't 911 technology been updated? CIO Journal reporter Isabel Bousquet is here to talk about that. Isabel, when we talk about 911 call centers not being prepared for cell phones, what do we mean? 911 centers were originally set up to just accept voice calls via copper telephone infrastructure, sort of from the olden days. And because many are still set up that way, they're not designed to accept texts, accept photos, accept videos. If you wanted to live stream with 911 or FaceTime, it's not set up for that. But the most critical issue here is that 911 centers often can't locate you when you call in. And that's because when you were calling from a landline, that landline was registered to a particular address. When you call from a cell phone, there are a couple different ways they can locate you, but it's not always exact. Sometimes it has to do with nearby cell towers, and then those cell towers are linked up with databases that refer you to a specific 911 center. Frequently, it's the wrong 911 center. You have to get transferred. That wastes precious time when you're in an emergency. So that ability to locate you is really critical and something a lot are struggling with today. Cell phones, though, have been around for many, many years at this point. How did we get to a situation where these 911 call centers aren't prepared to deal with them? The biggest problem here is that upgrading infrastructure that is so critical, it's so life and death, it requires a lot of time, investment, and it requires a lot of money. And... In a lot of cases, that funding hasn't been there. Typically, 911 centers are locally run and operated and funded, so some have more funding than others. Oftentimes, there's a state tax associated with 911 funding, but typically it's not very much, often just enough to maintain the legacy infrastructure that they have, sometimes not even enough to maintain that. But the idea is that, you know, hopefully... More will make upgrades in the coming years. There have been discussions about federal bills that could provide some funding to 911 across the country. This is estimated to cost somewhere between 9 and $13 billion. There have been bills in the past that were designed to do this and failed. There were a couple bills that were also introduced earlier this year in the House and the Senate. So it sort of remains to be seen, the fate of those. Any idea what this upgraded system would look like? Yeah. In fact, there's a nonprofit group called the National Emergency Number Association. And in 2004, they came up with this idea called Next Generation 911. And it was sort of this vision for a call center that was more enabled for the digital age. And at the core of this shift, it was asking call centers to move away from the legacy copper telephone infrastructure that they were using to an internet-based network. So the National Emergency Number Association has published a series of standards to sort of outline what this looks like and how 911 call centers can get there. So where do things stand with that right now? It's really hard to keep track of exactly where each 911 center is at with its upgrades There are over 5,500 across the country. Frost and Sullivan, which is a consulting group, has estimated that at the end of 2022, about 56.2% of the U.S. population was covered by next generation upgrades of some kind. Just call centers had invested in taking steps towards that next generation ideal. And for the remaining 43.8% upgrades, some are in the work, some are not, but it could be years before they take effect. I realize some of this might seem obvious to some listeners, but can you explain why having cell phones interact with 911 call centers could improve safety? Location is the most critical issue. The cell phone device makers themselves are aware that this is an issue, and Apple and Google have taken steps to try to make the device location information more available to 911, but 
legacy 911 centers, the calls are routed by looking at, you know, which cell tower handles a cell phone call. The paradox is that the software in your cell phone knows exactly where it is. You see a little blue dot when you pull up Google Maps. Your Uber driver knows exactly where you are. So again, your cell phone knows where it is. 911 centers often don't have access to that information or it is not used to route the call to the nearest 911 center. So once these upgrades are in effect, that issue of misrouted calls, which is a common issue, 27 million calls a year are misrouted, that can be solved by next generation upgrades. All right, that was our reporter, Isabel Busquet. And that's it for today's tech news briefing. If you want more tech stories, head over to our website, wsj.com. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Thanks for listening. Thank you.